Cindy they also love white gold. Yeah. <laughs> so right. pretty, but gorgeous. Uh, <laughs> Give some good reflection. <laughs> yes, it, it's uh, on the lights. So it's, it's for me. That's for sure. <laughs> Do you know something more about that? Uh, let me think about it. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Uh, something similar to this one. What happens? You change your hair? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you noticed that? Using novel pencil, so they already take it out. Uh, yes, it colors the white acrylics actually. Yeah. Are you? It, uh... Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Ciao, Monica. Hello. Wow, you are in the Christmas atmosphere. Great. <laughs> Oh, wow. You look like an elf for <laughs> Santa. Santa. I'm ready. I'm ready, Santa. <laughs> nice. So nice. Well, also, me, I am in a red and white atmosphere full of Christmas stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. I like this atmosphere. <laughs> oh, me too. I love Christmas. Really love Christmas. Oh, Monica, finally, the best day of the week is come, it's coming, finally, we are together again for Stamperia Atelier. Yes, here we are, I'm happy to be with you, also because today it's a holiday day, actually, it's the Immaculate Conception. Exactly, in Italy it is, in Spain, también. Uh, I don't know, uh, somewhere else, uh, if it's holiday, uh, let's uh, say as if you just type a comment, uh, if it's holiday in your country, I don't know, it's a Catholic uh, one, so here in Spain it's holiday too, and we used to set up the house and everything for Christmas, this is what yes. we usually do in Italy, and that's yes. why my Christmas tree is oh. almost ready, it's just the base for now, it's just the base, yeah. maybe, oh. maybe I want to store something for you. You are perfectly in time. So on the 8th of December, as Italian tradition once uh, and Spanish now, you prepare all the ornaments for Christmas. And uh, I made a ready for, uh, since last, uh, last week. But today is officially the first day for preparing your house for decorations. So exactly. here we are to give you yes. all our suggestions and advice uh, to the group. Yes, yes. And remember to share the live now. Share the live now as I'm doing in order to yeah. be able to win a pizza box because exactly. I want. it's my time to remember all our appointments. So just we take... Come, we come personally to give you a Stamperia pizza box. <laughs> so share our video. <laughs> <laughs> we have the bell, we have the bell. <laughs> like the elf on the shelf. <laughs> I want to remember that, okay, today is Stamperia Live. Tomorrow we will have the Stamperia Lab with Cristina Radovan, an Arctic Antarctic collection. So Cristina will show in Spanish, of course, so I'm already afraid and I need to, to learn and do my homework later, my Spanish homework. And we will wait for Cristina tomorrow live here same time 3 p.m so but um i was telling about sharing because on uh, giovanni will announce the winner of all the prizes we are giving in this day because it uh, it's adventure calendar let me show you monica la, 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 la. Ta -da! here we have yeah, we have the adventure calendar running on Stamperia now. So every day a new present. So swipe so, to discover. What should we do actually with this calendar? Shall we every day we have to find out what there is behind this number and we exactly. get the prize. Oh. And you will see we have many prizes like these. We have pizza, uh, discount on Etsy, an interview cafe, Stamperia gift, a free masterclass. The Heart Foundation planted tree. So every day we have a present for you. So remember to go on our social media 
and share and like this. What, what is there on the 8th, actually? Can we know already? What's the prize of today? Uh, let me, I have to check. Wait, I'll do live. Uh, I'm curious. <laughs> Go on. Uh -huh. Let's search for Stamperia. Our on the eight, let's see. Da -da -da. Oh, Fifty percent extra off on Etsy. So discover our Etsy shop, and you will get fifty percent off with this coupon Christmas. Ta -da. Oh, great! Oh wow, mm -hmm. that's interesting. Good. Very so, good. Very good. personally made and handmade presents for the people you love. Exactly. Great. Okay, so let's start. Let's we go. have we have all our friends online. I see hello, 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 Patricia. <laughs> hello, Hi, Patricia. Oh, Wow, our Richard, our friends, the friends of always. <laughs> Santa Omar. <laughs> 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 okay, share, Magda, bravo, share the video, okay, and what's what's more, ah, uh, we have a, a new little appointment, before we start the demonstration live today, the surprise box from Monica Paluta Christmas, of course, special edition, we have, we, me and Monica, pick one project from Stampers Worldwide, our community, the group on Facebook, and we choose one project of these last days. Now on, it will be a regular appointment. So every week we choose one project that we like it, and we will show you. So uh, let's, Monica, start. I show the project that you like the most. Ta -da! I found it amazing, and for many reasons, First of all, there are so many projects you made uh, these days. Uh, you made so many nice things for Christmas. And it was very difficult to find something I liked the most uh, because I like many. <laughs> but I found this very curious because actually uh, it's also an idea for recycling. And uh, as I have children too, I think uh, uh, Maria Cuoto, Coto, sorry, Coto, uh, chose... Uh, um, a toy from I think someone she knows or a child, child she has and from this basis of a castle, plastic castle she renewed it in a, a Christmas style with our papers from uh, our new collections and actually it's so nice at the end, it's so romantic it looks like really a fairy castle, I liked it I liked it a lot so the principle I liked most uh, that she used uh, something to be recycled and uh, from this basis she made uh, um, something so nice and uh, stunning. <laughs> yeah. If you want to see the picture in detail uh, and there are more three pictures, you have to go on our group, Stampers Worldwide. And thank you so much, Monica. Let me change. And I choose this one again, blue. I was surprised because both of us chose something blue, and it's from Katarzyna. And this is very beautiful. You have to see all the pictures of this incredible uh, project. Uh, it's made with uh, winter tales. It's, it's winter tales again, and this it's very beautiful. It's a sphere with a plastic sphere, and we have this landscape, this no landscape inside, really with this flower. Amazing. Con congratulations, really an incredible, an incredible project. Oh. Maybe if uh, they are online and then they are following us, maybe you can write to us. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Please, if you are online, just say hello and... <laughs> So Maria Cotto, and uh, I think I it in a proper way, she will tell us, <laughs> and uh, Katarzyna Dragos. Okay. Uh, okay, Monica, so I think we can start now. I can wait. Uh, please. Yes. What's the subject of today? We have surprise boxes. <laughs> surprise boxes, okay. So, let's see what I made for you. Ta -da! First of all, then uh, we will go closer. And uh, here you can see 
a little bit of my boxes now here. Okay, I will put you bigger. Ta -da. Yes, I have so many. I have not enough. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, shall we go closer and see uh, if you can see better with the camera? On the top. Let's yes. See what's there. So here we are. And so this is the last one I've just made. So mm -hmm. on a very big box uh, like this uh, with uh, um, this is uh, Stamperia's uh, wooden uh, paper shape, wooden uh, drawing here. And then uh, also I put some stuff here, Christmas candles. Mm -hmm. And here, this is a box for a panettone, for example. Some and cake biscuits. Yeah. So the cap of the box is actually is actually something that you will keep also the box I think for the following year. Yes. So this is of now let's see what I made. This is another box you can make in a blue style for panettone as well. Do you eat panettone in uh, your country? Let us know. <laughs> panettone for Italy is. Uh, uh, I must have Christmas, absolutely. <laughs> I want one. I, I said to my mother, please send me one to celebrate Christmas. But this is very beautiful. How's, how is the top made? Because I see is a... Actually, I cut out a round shape from the, uh, from, you see, from the cap. And then I put some, uh, this is um, the shrinky bit uh, plastic here. And then that's made with rice paper and stone paper. Oh, beautiful boxes, Sandra say. That's true, Sandra. It's beautiful. So it's, it's like uh, transparent, the, the top. If yeah, you put the top is transparent then. Yes, but with rice paper. So you can see through, but a little bit. It's beautiful. And, and the flowers, wow. It's uh, stone paper, maybe. Stone paper and rice paper. Oh, okay. Rice paper. Right. Yeah. Oh, new uh, rice, some Perrier rice paper. Around, I put some rice paper too and some crackle paste. Vincenza says it's beautiful. It's ah, the crackle paste on, on, on the side is the white one. The white one, the white yeah. one and some pieces of rice paper. And uh, yes, and, and the stencil. Oh, this in blue is very beautiful. Yes, we will post for you the details of these boxes. So it will be easier to see. Then let's go over and see what we can make with the uh, squared uh, and a squared box like this. I made it myself because uh, this uh, I cut out uh, uh, some cardboard and mm -hmm. I made uh, a box like this. It's not difficult to make. So you will open it. Uh, you have <laughs> like a a 3D room, like a theater. It's beautiful. Yeah, like a 3D room with the, the Christmas tree. Grazie, Letizia. Letizia bellissima. I don't know if it's for you or for the project. Maybe both. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I hope the box is. Yeah. <laughs> so around, you will have all a landscape around like this. These boxes can be used, uh, I don't know, for Christmas if you want to uh, give some present. You can hide the present inside and maybe uh, who will receive the box, open the box and uh, will you discover. If you have a, a present with a box like this, I think you will give two presents at the mm -hmm. same time. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Zainab, I don't know the pronunciation of this nice name. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> then let's see in a smaller, in a smaller okay. version. So I have many like this with the, the Christmas. This is a pink Christmas. So the principle is always the same. So you cut like mm -hmm. two sizes in order to have a background a rigid background and you can play with the 3d effect or a pop-up effect or something exactly something like a pop-up yes very easy huh? this is all scrapbooking paper so it's quite hard hard enough uh, to be glued uh, and stay in this uh, position but when you close it no problem you close and then it's like this is with pink Christmas. It's very, very nice. I made two with pink Christmas because 
I like so much. You know, I like pink. <laughs> so this is another one. Actually, once it is hardened with the, the mixed media glue, but then I will explain it to you how to make it. It's like a rock, we could say. <laughs> okay. Very, very hard. So you can really build a background as you like the most. Then I close it. And then let's see a very small one. This is cute. Oh, cute. cute little. So if you also have a spare paper, uh, our last year's paper, Christmas, uh, this is one of the last ones. Uh, you see, you can find a cat inside. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Is, you, you are a clever lady. Belinda. Ciao, Belinda. Hello, Catarina. <laughs> Linda, Catarzina. <laughs> so, so this is oh, this. Maria Puto is here. Oh, hello, Maria. Hello. <laughs> Yours too was very nice. Your castle, I liked. <laughs> let, me show, let me show again this beautiful project. Really, there, all, as as you said before, there there are there was a lot of them to choose, so it's not so easy. Ta -da, it's here. here it's castle yeah. is uh, lovely. <laughs> Also oh, nice, really. A good idea. I like the idea. <laughs> I think I will steal my daughter's castle <laughs> and we copy your idea. <laughs> and this is another one with the uh, make a wish. Uh, yes, Cindy, yeah. you are right. Hello, Cindy. Uh, Cindy. Oh, with nice. Different layers to create a village. And then a Christmas tree. Right. Oh. Okay, Agnieszka has to go to work, but don't worry, you can always watch our previous episodes, ep episodes sorry, on Facebook and YouTube. So I guess that in your country it's not holiday today. <laughs> not, oh, maybe. Who knows? A lot of people, it's holiday, oh, but they have, have to wait. Work. You're right. This is another round box with mm -hmm. paper. Okay. Let surprise is always inside. Then ta da, and you. Oh. <laughs> and you have some, uh, Christmas tree and windows. Oh, best wishes! Oh, this is so very here nice. I use the, the frames, uh, different uh, wooden frames uh, and colored. Um, all scrapbooking paper, I see. Yeah. yeah. This is all scrapbooking paper here especially then what more i have a lot we like it all this i made uh, quickly like this uh, with uh, uh this is a uh, with winter uh, tails, winter mm -hmm. tails uh, so it's a box uh, this is the cap it's a box it's a big box <laughs> <laughs> it's the cap with actually the Theory. You are in love with boxes. Sorry. You are you are in love with boxes. Yeah. I think that to give a present in a nice box, it's really original. I've always found people like uh, to, like this idea of give a special present in a special box, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is a surprise box. <laughs> Cherry said, "Now I have to use Alice in Wonderland paper." To make box. a surprise box. I think that Alice in Wonderland is perfect yeah. to create surprise boxes or um, these pop-up 3D effects. Yeah, right. So I think that Omar, we can post afterwards uh, the pictures of the different boxes, so they can they can follow um, and see better every yeah. every box maybe in yeah. details. <laughs> Okay, and okay. if you want to know how to make it, I'm ready to show you. <laughs> so we have a question, it's very nice. Uh, where do you store them all without damage? <laughs> so, actually, I have uh, a place uh, where I store there a sort of garage with the shelves. <laughs> And I pull them and I pick them up with, but you, you don't need to be very, very careful because they are strong actually. <laughs> so you don't really need, uh, don't worry about that. Uh, also, I, 
to cover for the powder a little bit with the uh, an envelope. Probably. And Las Ventanitas uh, ask, what material do you use in the last box? Uh, so the last box, which one you may? Ah, yes, this one uh, with the fairy. Mm -hmm. one, uh, so actually, right here, I have used the uh, rice paper, so scrapbooking paper. Mm -hmm. and, little pieces of scrapbooking paper then there is rice paper on the cap and then rice paper and stone paper for this fairy okay and this is a wooden frame with a little bit of rice paper a candle with a shell <laughs> i use many stuff i have <laughs> <laughs> so stone paper for the fairy especially yeah, and that's a very good question. There's a lot of material in this project. Okay, thank you, Monica. So actually, now I will show you how I make, especially for to harden this uh, background, because it's important to harden the background. In, and then you can uh, create your landscape and 3D. Mm -hmm. uh, and 3D. Oh, I love your light lace. <laughs> thank you. This is... Uh, my dog, my wowie, my chihuahua, <laughs> like an angel. <laughs> yeah, crazy, Monica. Every day you have a different jewel. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's start. So to create these incredible surprise boxes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I uh, started with a wood, a cardboard box uh, like this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have painted it already to be quicker. And so I painted the cap and I painted the box outside in red and light green inside. And I had cut it. I had cut it like this. Okay, so and you use the Allegro color to color the cardboard. Exactly. And they are so well covering our Allegro acrylic colors that you don't really need to use any primer before. So you can go straight with the acrylic and uh, uh, thank you, Sue. <laughs> and actually, you can go straight with the acrylic. So, yeah. uh, okay. with... hello, Monica. Hello, Laura. Oh. Hello, 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 hola, hola. So, with the cutter, mm -hmm. you cut two sides. So, one cut like this. Da, 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 da. Okay. Two and three. Three cuts, actually. Three. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And then it's open the cap you leave aside a little bit time and then mm -hmm. you need something to create your background to harden the background what's the, the product rice paper so what's easier than rice paper you can use a blank rice paper or maybe a rice paper with a soft uh, a soft color like uh, ivory or beige or light uh, light uh, brown so whatever you like to use for a background so not necessarily white okay so i keep a piece of this uh rice paper which is a carta voile some very a carta voile so rice paper blank mm -hmm. I take a piece like this more or less Ciao Alda, Alex. Ciao Alda, happy to see you. <laughs> wow. So let's take a, a piece of plastic, like mm -hmm. a top for documents, and okay. put it on the table. Then, what's the hardener also? It's the mixed media glue, which is a, a fantastic product, as it's not only a glue, but also a hardener, a hardener for paper. Paper. And for uh, fabrics, okay. So you can use a uh, uh, mixed media glue also to harden fabric. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I show you closer. Mm -hmm. so yeah, it, please change the color. Mm -hmm. okay. If you have questions, please. Uh, yes. Write yes, me I'm here. And and I can read all the questions you have to Monica. Okay. So rice paper. Rice paper, as you say, you can use a white one or you can choose one with a texture from Stampria. Okay. Exactly. And then let's use a, a flat brush. And I go over like this on the whole piece of uh, paper. Mm. 
Okay, uh, from YouTube they're asking, uh, ¿puedes poner algún pequeño listado de lo más importante que usa de materiales por la que entendemos muy bien? Claro. Yes. Uh, yes, we will put them the list of material of all this uh, product that Monica is using. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. With pleasure. So now it's a uh, rice paper and mixed media glue mixed that media. Monica is using as a hardener. Okay. Yes, yeah, right. So yeah, just use a plastic underneath in order not to um, to fix on the table or on another surface. So plastic, okay. perfect. Or you destroy, or it will glue to the to the table. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And now I take mixed one. media glue is the first product. Yeah. On rice paper. And take your box open. Mm -hmm. And now open also paper. And Ciao, Donatella. Mm -hmm. Okay. Try to. Create your mountains, your okay. As it comes, so don't worry too much about the shape of this. Okay, don't worry about that. But just now, fix the edges with your mixed media glue. So like this, you see. Okay, you're gluing the edge to fix them to the corner of this uh, structure that we create from a box. We cut two sizes of the box. We made three cuts and we obtain this, this beautiful angle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. The, the shape you like. We are asking when you come to Barcelona to give a class. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, hope that uh, best. Muy pronto, muy pronto. Te quiero aquí en España. Toda España te quiere. <laughs> We really hope that times will change with next year. We will see better times. I'm sure for that. Oh, so, abbiamo, abbiamo amici da Roma, oh, un uomo, a man that finally fa is following. Ciao, Fabio. You're welcome from Rome. Fabio, wow. Fabio from Rome, the capital. Oh, wow, wow. A piece of Italy. <laughs> so let's uh, now do like that. If you are at home, just don't worry, leave it dry alone. It will be hard after uh, more or less 30 minutes, depends on how much glue you put. Uh, I now will dry with the hair dryer. So I will use a couple of minutes of the hair dryer at least to glue on the surface. Okay, like okay. Monica, show us a little bit, sorry, from uh, a little bit, yeah, like that, in order to be able to exactly. So you point the border with, with the yeah. glue, and then you let it uh, as it uh, as it come. Like uh, I don't know, remind me a silk or something like that. But it will be a beautiful landscape. Yeah, it will be the basis for our snow, our landscape, whatever you want to put on top. Oh. Un momento, we, uh, we have an important question from Patricia. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In case we cannot use the rice paper, yeah. which can, what we can use? This is Spanish. So, in the case we can find the paper of rice, what other paper can be used? So you can use, uh, in case you don't have rice paper, some very thin, uh, very thin fabrics, uh, mm. for example. Yes. So uh, the um, thinnest, uh, thinnest uh, fabric you can use is rice paper. Otherwise, I don't know if you still have some old but uh, always useful paper by Saint-Pelier, which is, was called uh, um, cotton paper. We had a paper called, so some, maybe someone still have it uh, from our last collection. So also cotton paper or, as I told you, rice paper or very thin fabric. Fabric, okay. Because or with normal paper, you cannot obtain the same effect that uh, we can see now in the... No. Okay. So Booking paper is not uh, uh, good for this. No, it's too hard. It's too hard, yes. Yeah. Okay, so now you have to dry, I guess. Yes, now I dry. 
Okay. At least on this case, like this. So I abandon you not to annoy. Yeah, yeah, just mute you for a while. Go with 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 your okay, okay. Thank you so much. And now, so uh, Monica needs some minutes to to dry her her work. Uh, I won't just remember you that tomorrow we will be live with Cristina Radovan, mi amor. Entonces, I can wait to see Christina live demo tomorrow. And we will play a little bit with her collection, Arctic Antarctic, and all the incredible media from Stamperia. So the glamour paste and uh, wooden shape, stencil. We will have a lot of fun. And uh, we will create some beautiful uh, journaling books with Christina Radovan. So tomorrow, amazing. And I remember you to go online because we have actually the advent calendar going on. So every day we have a different present for you. So just remember to go and share and follow the instruction of every day because we have uh, lots of presents. And every day we show you this beautiful Christmas project. If Christmas is coming, so just... and. We, Monica, I see that it's not, has not finished, it's still dry. Yeah. I'm already. Okay. It's okay. You can touch it. It's quite hard. Not enough, but we can work on it. Good morning from sunny Florida. Oh my God, you're lucky like here. Sunny Florida. <laughs> here it's wind today, it's horrible. How oh, lucky. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Because now in Italy it's very bad weather, so it's very uh, winter weather. And also uh, in Spain, you told me that you have a lot of wind. Hmm? So outside, I have cut out from uh, a scrapbooking paper of uh, uh, the last uh, um, collection. You know the the more classic one. So oh, yeah. Christmas, some. Yeah, Something Classic like Christmas. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I guess from the color, the red and, and the green that you will use the classic, the vintage Christmas. Okay. Yeah. Here. So I got it out to shape it. Mm -hmm. And I will glue here to, um, to glue uh, this paper on my box. Now I'm going to use uh, my beloved. Uh, Extra <laughs> for Okay because uh, it keeps so strongly on all okay. and see the Colombia they she like the calendar uh, yes, yes. And, and we will have Giovanni announcing live all the winners of the pizza and every present of our calendar so right. Giovanni it's an, another house <laughs> <laughs> our center uh, in Scotland is winter too. Yes, I, I believe it. I imagine. <laughs> so let's put this uh, on the uh, outside because it, it, I want. I would like it to look like a small house. <laughs> okay. So this is outside. Then on the other side, I would like this garland. Mm -hmm. I don't like the beautiful one you showed last time. Yeah. <laughs> Have you prepared some garlands for Christmas? Uh, now it's no. about time. <laughs> to I'm get still, I'm still. <laughs> so this I will glue it like this. You say that it's 70 below here. Oh my god. It's below here. Oh. Minus 70. Where was it, Omar? I couldn't see. Uh, so, so it's um, where are you? States. In the states. Are you in the states, too? I see. How many degree we have here in in, in Malaga? Let let my assistant check. <laughs> <laughs> <Who's that? laughs> they have my personal assistant. Finally, <laughs> I'm a real diva now. <laughs> Your landlord. <laughs> so then on the other side. Canada. Sue is from Canada. Yes. In Canada. Oh, okay. 15. Oh, okay. They say, he say 15. 15 degrees. Yeah, but, uh, I think so. Yeah. A lot of snow over there. 
Monica say that love make boxes. It's, it's a very nice thing. Mm -hmm. We can use it in many, many ways. If they're empty, you can put your stuff inside, or in this case, you can use as a present. Uh, you are using the um, extra forte glue? Yeah, extra forte, yes, exactly. Okay. Extra forte glue, okay. All around like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, so I have put this, this, okay. this, and last, I would like on here. Maybe I will do one. Let us know here, round shape. Hello, Monica Santos. Good afternoon to everyone. It's good afternoon. Good afternoon, Monica. So I'm cutting out this and glue in the fourth side of my box. Caterina Gilli is here. Ciao, Caterina. Caterina is our colleague. Oh, ciao, Cate. <laughs> ciao, Cate. Grazie, Cate. Mm. Stai lavorando? Are you working? Yeah, they are working. Yeah, yeah, we are working. We are all working. <laughs> Hello from Cape Town. Wow, Cape Town. Ciao. And then I'm inside the box now. So for the inside, mm -hmm. I have chosen uh, one landscape mm -hmm. uh, like this, for example. And uh, I cut, you see, only a little bit. Okay, so you choose a landscape and you're cutting out the sky. Yes, only the skyline. Mm -hmm. oh, gosh. You cut so fast. <laughs> you know how old I am, oh my, and how many cuts I made in my life. <laughs> I can't believe it. Linda said that in Berlin it's seven degree, but it looks like oh yeah, I know the cold wind from Berlin. So we shouldn't complain about. Uh, no, no, no! Stop complaining. Stop complaining. <laughs> so I think I will choose this landscape you see to glue here in the corner. Not flat, but a little bit. Okay, this then, okay, you, you're using the two point to create like a space on the. Okay. Yeah. I take some um, strong glue, extra strong, mm -hmm. only to glue on the two sides like this. Then here I have prepared other stuff and I would like to use it. For example, I have this nice uh, town, uh, sorry, this nice uh, house. I cut it out roughly because then you will see I will put a lot of snow. So, okay. No, we'll go down. Te gusto, Silvia, con el gorro. <laughs> Silvia dice, you have a nice hat. Today <laughs> is Christmas style. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh. Okay. So you create like a little fit to glue. Mm -hmm. All right. So I will glue the, uh, the house here closer. Okay. So yeah. you have. Um, but I made the eye bent a little bit the paper in order to create a foot. <laughs> yes, yes. And then with the glue, I will fix it like this. Okay. And then. Yeah. Here and there, I will glue a Christmas tree I had cut out from this classic Christmas. Mm -hmm. You're always using the same technique, just you. Mm -hmm. It's an easy technique. Mm -hmm. You will be, you will have fun, <laughs> you'll see. And then I have a small cat. <laughs> We will put in the snow. In Portugal, say it's very cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, I, I saw. I saw. I saw here in in Spain, snowing in Italy, all sorts. That's winter. Mm -hmm. I will put some poinsettia on this, on the two sides. 
a little bit here, okay. like this. So my lens, 3D landscape is growing and growing. And then I would like to put this reindeer. Mm -hmm. Also, if it's not complete, but only a side of it, I would like as well to have in my landscape. Because it can, yes, maybe it's too big. I'll cut it out. And I will make it like this, coming on a side. Yeah. So oh. you will uh, build up your landscape uh, step by step. Yeah. And you will see how easy and fun it is uh, to, to make it. And I also would like to cut this nice poinsettia here. So the idea is always to bend a little bit uh, the paper mm -hmm. and not to go on the line where... Yeah. My question is, okay, you can play, but you have to be careful when you place the box that all the object inside will not... Yeah, exactly. Because when you close it, you will have to be able to close it. Okay. okay. And here we are. I think that most of stuff I had put only this at the end, and that's over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I read this call. Barcelona is the saying. Oh, yes. No. Nobody is watching us from, I don't know, the Australia that, or where Florida, Florida, they say it's Florida. Okay, and this okay. is here. So when you start, you will never end, but I, I know I have to, so I stop it. <laughs> okay. Well, it depends from, you know, how many times you have and how deep you want to create this uh, 3D effect. You can play right. a lot with small details and, uh, I don't know, adding some of real wood or uh, some flowers or some dry, uh, dry, dry flowers. You can really play a lot with this. Uh, but this is what Monica is showing us: is the technique how to create this this surprise box. So, it's really up to you how to to make in your personal way. So this is green paste. Um, oh, wow. okay. <laughs> Using green paste now because I need something very, very light, very soft. And as my landscape, it's now, it's now uh, not uh, really uh, dried already. Mm -hmm. I like something that I can use without spoiling anything. So you see, it looks like <laughs> Chantilly. Can you can you come a little bit closer if you can just to see? how to create this no effect with uh, cream paste. Especially you have to hide uh, the foot of your uh, um, of your drawings. Yes. So go and hide the foot with a lot of cream paste. You see, you can really hide them and they are that into really into the, uh, the landscape now. Sky blue is from Indonesia. Wow. Indonesia. Almost on the other side of the world. <laughs> and there for sure it's not cold. <laughs> they are asking for the name of the pasta. Can you show us uh, the top? Yes, this is cream. Uh, the incredible cream paste. This is one of the best sellers of Stamperia. It can be used in many, many ways. In, in the the way we use the mold, we like them. I like the most is with uh, the molds. You can uh, spread this pasta on the molds and when it's dry, you will have this beautiful and hyper detailed um, texture that you can use everywhere. But today, Monica is using as uh, a snow paste to imitate the, the, snow. the snow and hiding the place where she glued all the fit is of, or of the elements she put. Not only, I'm also putting a little bit, you see, on the trees, uh, on the roofs. Uh, Sakura is asking, the paste she's using right now uh, is uh, the snow effect one. Uh, no, we have a snow effect pen, but in this case, Monica, as I, I guess I understand that Monica, please correct me, 
is uh, using this cream paste uh, because she needs a super extra light uh, paste because she's using a lot in order to cover the um, the place exactly like, like she's showing us now. Can you come closer, Monica? I put you in a big screen. But now I'm really hiding also the edges of uh, the rice paper the, on the background. Yes. So this special uh, paste the cream paste is the i think the the lightest one we have so she can use a big amount uh, but at the end um, the project uh, will be light and also a little bit on the trees uh, you see of the trees on the roof wherever you like it's belinda is watching from facebook and youtube <laughs> thank you <laughs> different <laughs> friends in both three Wow. Okay, here a little bit there, and then I will show you something. So, in order to make it more shiny, I will use some flakes on the wet surface. To okay, so you do not wear to you, know, you do not wait to dry the the, the paste dry, right? but is that you should put uh, some glue on it uh, in order to stick uh, the flakes but in this uh, uh, occasion they will stick uh, directly on uh, on the surface which is what <laughs> katarzyna said that cream paste is so light that i thought the packaging was empty honestly <laughs> I, I maybe i already i already tell this story but the first time we received the first package in, in stamperia i thought the same that was a mistake <laughs> it was all the empty box but it's, it's the special. <laughs> yes, right. It looks like empty, but it's not. So here I take some flakes now. So the Arctic flakes uh, that I love because I would put everywhere these flakes. <laughs> they are shiny and a little bit uh, uh, reflected in the color yeah. that you have underneath. Oh, no, my favorite. Hello. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hello, it's beautiful. Yes. Okay. Here I take with my hands and do that. I hope you will see. Then I will be closer. Mm -hmm. You you pour them and they are made with uh, they are very translucent and they will uh, glue to the the stick on uh, the stick paper paste. on the paste. On the paste, okay. Let's see. Mm -mm. And you see, you you are very uh, able, and you did a lot of them. So you already know that the tree, when once the box will close, uh, it has. You see, the tree has its space. Like this, mm -hmm. and it will be perfectly closed. Okay, just make a test before. So just put yeah. something, don't glue it, try to close, and if it closes, it's okay. Yeah. So. We have a question from Roja. Uh, will this paste be waterproof after drying? So, uh, waterproof, what do you mean? That you cannot wash it uh, on a plate, for example? No. Uh, in this case, yes because actually if you let it dry perfectly it's waterproof like an acrylic color okay so uh, waterproof i i think your question is because you would like to put on uh, outside uh, outside uh, in a garden for example on a sculpture or something like that it's better to protect with the uh, external varnish in that case oh. if, uh, your question is uh, for this purpose i think always better to put that. just okay so uh, you know uh, omar for this cap uh, i had made a, a, a hole and uh, i want to use uh, this uh, stuff from uh, our uh yeah, yeah. <laughs> i like a lot this uh, kind of uh, and it's perfect for the surprise boxes because you have a ring and mm, you pull the ring and then <laughs> the boxes will open so I will do that. I will open it inside like this. Okay. So I have this. And I would also like to put something like a tag mm -hmm. outside. 
let's do that. So this is uh, uh, something that really... Uh, we have a question. Uh, which is the difference between ice paste and snow paste? So snow paste is white, okay. while uh, ice paste is transparent. I show you now. I will put a little bit outside my box so you will see the difference. So I will close my box. So bye bye. <laughs> I well, close. Yeah, well, yeah. I'll show you outside the box uh, with the, the other paste, uh, which can be, for example, Dumbo. I sent uh, the reminder, but it's uh, only late. Oh, yeah, okay. pen is late. No, don't worry. You can watch all the episodes online, Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. Okay, so let's use these two different pastes. The one is the, the snow paste. This is the snow paste. Mm -hmm. Look, it's white, but at the same time, it's white, but a little bit shiny. You see inside. Mm -hmm. It's a magic, yeah, so magic from, snow. Look, outside, I will put a little bit like this, uh, and you see how it is. Uh, the effect uh, of the snow arctic snow paste i like a lot because it's shiny and uh, it's white but not so covering you see you can see through anyway a little bit to say you did fast monica yes she's very fast she works that <laughs> fast sometimes and... uh, i know because I want, I would like to give you so many ideas and so many <laughs> to show you as much. And in one hour, it's not so easy. <laughs> so I have to. So this is the uh, Arctic snow paste. Now I show you the Arctic ice paste. Mm -hmm. Standardino forever, say Vincenza. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Standardino forever. Standardino is this magic brush, which is a so, uh, simple brush, but everybody uses it because you need it for many things, for the uh, dry brush techniques and for the snow. <laughs> Look, this is the eyes, which is transparent. So I can go on the paper without mm -hmm. covering the paper and only giving a, a shiny effect like eyes in winter with reflects of the lights look i love also this one i didn't do well here sorry okay in the corner <laughs> and look i can really go on on the papers here no problem. directly on the paper yeah they it will not hide absolutely the color, once, especially once it's dry, it, you will only have this, this uh, shiny effect. Yeah, and uh, I also use in this case like a protection because it's a paste, uh, so it's very strong and it will protect uh, my, uh, my box. I don't need any burnish here at the end. But remember, our products are not for the outside. So if you want to put a decoration of our colors and everything outside, it's always better to protect yeah. that special burnishes. So make uh, everything with our products, but then spray on uh, put some protection, very strong protection for outside, especially winter. <laughs> So here it is, I think. Hmm. Let's open it another time, just uh, if someone arrived a little bit later. So I can show you anyway the inside. Mm -hmm. it is not completely dry, but let's see what happens if you open a surprise box. You have a surprise. <laughs> here it is. Yes, yeah, please show us the, the effects that it echo. Uh, over. Closed. You open and we open and here it is. Yeah. And if you see from the, the perspective of, on the floor, you will see the tree and the mountain. Yes, like that. That's we can appreciate all the level the, the levels you create and the shine. See a small cat <laughs> outside, poor cat outside in the snow here. <laughs> it's a winter cat. <laughs> right. 
So here, but we will make. Uh, oh, thank you. Many hearts on my. But we will give you the list of materials. So yes, yes, the list of material to create. Uh, it's it's not that big as we as we see. So uh, it's it's a box. In in this case, we use um, Christmas paper and uh, this uh, snow paste and flakes. Yeah, exactly. So um, uh, I think uh, I I hope I give you some uh, new ideas for the approaching Christmas. But hurry up because it's coming very soon. <laughs> And uh, I think Omar, we are still, um, we will see each other again before Christmas. Yes, we, we will see, we will see again. Uh, and we, every day, it's Christmas. Uh, it's, <laughs> <laughs> I cannot live without you, Monica, now. It's a big, I'm wow. addicted. <laughs> I'm <not> either me. <laughs> so we will find a surprise for next time. I have yeah. a I have a couple of ideas, but we will speak about that later. We too and that we make a surprise to our friends uh, who are following us. Uh, so yeah. every, every Tuesday. Just show one times again your beautiful boxes. With the, the beautiful box. Wait, I, I can put so here. The box outside. Okay, I open it from here, maybe. Mm -hmm. Now let's open it like this. And you have this beautiful Christmas landscape. Yeah, right. The landscape is behind Christmas tree and the cat and everything here. Okay. Beautiful. I like it. And and again, once once time again, you make it easier. At least to wash. At least to wash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's Everybody can make it, I'm sure. And especially our friends, they are so expert. They make it. No, no. Many of them are are incredible experts. Sometimes we we see this uh, this project online, and we say, "Oh my God, this uh, is of course." But stunning things, really. Every day I see they publish so nice things. Um, continue. Yeah, yeah, okay. We are so surprised and happy that you yeah. use our products in, in such an amazing way. <laughs> Every time. But also, I, I love the way you are uh, showing us in this uh, Stamperia Atelier the, the easiest way to create something. In less than one hour, you always come out with uh, very nice ideas, especially for this Christmas. You are giving us a lot of inspiration. Yeah. So very, very. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Belinda, say thanks, Omar. <laughs> Thank you, Belinda, for following us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Also, Belinda made so interesting uh, programs <laughs> on these uh, on our channels, you know, with her special style, steampunk style. Uh, you are amazing, Belinda, how you <laughs> use our papers. <laughs> You are a real expert in uh, this. Yeah, and also as a host, the last time she introduced her team, um, oh my God, she she she's incredible. Even also as a host, incredible. She's artist all around, all around, really. really. <laughs> so <laughs> so okay. thank you, thank you so much. I I just want to remember that uh, we will be live tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, with Cristina Radovan. Entonces, mañana en español, directo, con Cristina Radovan, we will show us uh, incredible um, techniques. You know that she is crazy. She's a, a Vulcan. So who knows what, what can come out tomorrow. But I will be there, Monica. I hope you will be there, too. Of course. Of course. OK. So see you tomorrow at Cristina's show. And see you all and uh, my elf on the shelf Homer <laughs> next Tuesday. <laughs> I, I go and help Santa to package all the presents from Stamperia because remember, we will come out with a uh, pizza gift. Uh, so wow. wait for Giovanni and uh, you will see our beautiful, beautiful present for you. Right. Okay, great, great. Thank you to everybody. Kisses. Uh,
Ciao Monica! Ciao. Buona, buona festa! Ciao, grazie! Buon Ciao. Bye bye. Cindy also loves white gold. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so pretty, but... Gorgeous! <laughs> it gives some good reflection. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, on the light, so it's... it's for me, that's for sure. <laughs> Do you know something more about that? Uh, let me think about it. Hello, everyone! You change your hair? <laughs> oh, no. You noticed that? No, it is in novel pencil, so they already take it out. Uh, yes, it colors the white acrylics actually. Uh, Are you? It 